Hello everyone, welcome back to Pirates Games. And before we start the video, here's a graphic showing you how many of my viewers are actually not subscribed yet. So if you're one of those that aren't subscribed yet, but watch my videos anyways, just subscribe, it's easy. But now let's get to the video. And today's video is gonna be about how to upload your Scratch projects to Game Jolt. So to do that, first of all, we need to choose a Scratch project which we would like to upload, obviously. And for this, I'm gonna use my example project, Flying Gorilla 2D which uh, I think I, I made this over a year ago and I just didn't do anything with it. I didn't even finish it, but I'm just gonna use it as an example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see inside and now we need to download the project. So we click on file, save to your computer and save the file. And you can save your project file to whichever folder you want, but I'm just gonna save it in this game Joel tutorial folder. So just save it. Now it's downloaded. And now we're gonna use the HTML file, which is made by Sheep Maker and the CSS. So the style of this website is made by Mr. Cringe Kid. And the link to this website is in the description, but also in the iCard in the top right corner now. And it's really simple to use. So what you can do is either, if you've already uploaded your project and it's public, you can just choose the project ID, which in this case is this part right here. You can just copy paste that and put it in here, but this project is currently unpublished. So I'm gonna upload a project file, browse. And now you can just choose the file we just downloaded. And now you can enter your project's name, which is gonna be displayed as the title of the browser tab later on. So I'm just gonna call it Flying Gorilla 2D, just like that. And now the thing is, um, if you HTMLify it, it can't access the username of the player anymore. So here you can enter a value, which then, if you check the username in your project, it's gonna get this value in return. So in theory, the project is gonna think that every player that plays it is gonna be called Scratch Cat. Or you can enter another name if you want to. And I would definitely keep on the compatibility mode. If you disable it, your project can run at 60 FPS, but I've uh, experienced some input lag problems before, so I would just keep it on. It locks it at 30 FPS, but at least it's compatible everywhere. And here, enable turbo mode, that's up to you. And now we get to the fun part, which is actually customizing the HTML file. And I've already prepared some stuff for this. So this is the fab icon, which means that the icon you see up here in your browser tab, you can choose that actually. So I'm just gonna choose a picture which I've uh, selected for this. And you can also choose a background image. If you don't choose one, it's just gonna be black, but I'm also gonna upload one that I've chosen. And here you can disable or enable the loading progress bar and choose the color. I'm just gonna make it yellow. And you can even upload a loading image file, which I'm also gonna do. Uh, this, I would just keep it on so that the project starts immediately as soon as it's uh, done loading. Full screen button is also good. Uh, this depends on you if you want to have those and just to be sure I would keep it at maintain aspect ratio But if you want to try one of these you can also try that and see how it works for your project and make sure to Output it as a zip file and you can even customize the mouse pointer so you can have the default one hide the mouse pointer or add a custom mouse pointer which I'm also going to do and it says here the PNG should at most be 32 by 32, but I'm uploading one that's 64 times 64 and that seems to work okay, so I don't know. You can just try around, maybe you can even go a bit higher, but I just chose 64 by 64 pixels. And this monitor style is just up to you. You can choose whatever you want. And with the cloud variable, I would just keep it as uh, save cloud variables locally using local storage. Um, if you have a custom server, I guess you can enter the address here, but I think most of us don't have a custom cloud variable server for our projects. And these are modded options. Uh, use these carefully if you want, but I'm just gonna keep all of them disabled. I don't really need them. I just want my project to run just the way it does on Scratch. You can tick download automatically and just click HTMLify and save it. Okay, so now we have it as a zip file here. And now let's go on to Game Jolt. As you can see, I'm already logged in. If you don't have an account, just make one quickly. I actually just made this one right now, a moment ago. Click on your user icon and click add game. And you'll probably wanna choose either early access or complete slash stable. This is just for uploading images and videos and just telling people about your game before it's actually launched. And I'm gonna go with early access because the game isn't actually finished and I'm not planning on finishing it, which is actually pretty uh, fitting for early access. That's basically what early access is at this point, just games that are never gonna get finished. So let's click on that. And we can title it. I'm gonna call it Flying Gorilla 2D. And you can even choose your own URL path, Flying Gorilla 2D. And now let's see, is Scratch one of the listed engines? Yeah, it is. Okay, so you can just choose Scratch. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm not gonna add it to a partner system because Flying Gorilla 2D is gonna be free. But if you wanna make a paid game, definitely inform yourself about this. Just click this link and read, it, read through it. 
uh, I don't really know about it and I'm just gonna disable it because my game's gonna be free anyways. Okay, so now I can choose save next and here you can write a description of your game. So I just add a little description for my game and you can choose the t game tags. I'm just gonna call it a fan game, I guess. RPG is probably pretty accurate. Adventure also. Yeah, that, that sums it up pretty well. So I'll click save and next. And here you can actually upload a game header and the media. So we're gonna choose some image. I just chose this image right here. I'm just gonna choose the cropping on this. Save it. And if you wanna add even more media, like images, videos, and sketch fab, I'm not sure what that is. 3D content in your game browser, cool. Okay, so if you wanna upload any of those, you can just do that, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I don't have enough content for that. Uh, but you can also upload a thumbnail, and this thumbnail has to have a ratio of 16 by nine. And now you can choose a color theme for your page. I'm just gonna make it a custom color. Gonna make it yellow like a banana. Epic, okay, save it next. Now you just do this part. I'm gonna keep it free, I'm definitely gonna keep it free. Um, and just add a package. And now you can add your first release of this game, which is gonna be by default 0.1.0. I'm just gonna keep it that way, why not? Now you're probably gonna want it as a browser build, so you can play it right in your browser. So we're just gonna choose the zip file which we've created. And that's just gonna take a moment to upload. And you can just click fit to screen and save the build. Okay, now we need to add the maturity. And I think this is gonna be for all ages. Cartoon violence, uh, I mean, he does die sometimes, so it's kinda mild. I mean, it's difficult, but I think mild. No, there's no vi realistic violence in my game. Bloodshed, not yet. Sexual violence, not yet. No alcohol, nope. No drugs, no tobacco. Tobacco and alcohol are drugs, but yeah. No nudity, the gorilla, I mean, oh! I mean, I guess the gorilla is nude, but uh, I don't think that counts. And there are no sexual themes in Flying Gorilla. Yeah, I guess comic shenanigans is pretty accurate. And there's no gambling in Flying Gorilla. Okay, save next and publish. And now you can click on view game page. And there it is, Flying Gorilla 2D. And let's play it. Tobe gorilla. Epic, okay, let's play it with the keyboard. The custom mouse pointer, as you can see. And I just want to add this, definitely make sure to use a PNG. If you use, for example, a JPEG, it's going to have a white square around the mouse pointer, which is going to be really annoying, so just use a PNG with transparency. Let's just play one level of Flying Gorilla 2D. Let's go. Oh, oh, to the right, to the right, left, right, yay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's Flying Gorilla. So yeah, as you can see it works. My Flying Gorilla 2D remake is now on Game Jolt for you to play. And now you can also upload any Scratch project you want, including your Five Nights at Freddy's projects, which are not allowed on Scratch. If you haven't heard about the FNAF ban on Scratch, you can watch my video about that, which is going to be in the iCard in the top right corner. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.